Let's take a look outside over Southfield this morning. It is calm outside right now, but boy, it was loud and noisy during the overnight hours. You could pick your poison, the pounding rain, the uh, loud thunder, the vivid lightning. There was even some hail as well with some of those storms. I, I guess we got a little bit of everything. Uh, in Michigan, but thankfully we didn't get tornadoes in Metro Detroit. We are very lucky. I feel like the conversation around the coffee pot at every office is going to be did that did the, did you wake up? Did you wake up? Yeah, did it you woke up, it woke right up here? A lot of yeah, but I think for us it was almost right on time. It's like, oh, I guess I'll just get it's up. It's time to wake up. Anyway. All right. <laughs> right. A natural alarm clock. Right uh, now for the rest of this morning, I'm thinking we'll stay severe clear, but we still have a few showers and even a storm out there. So we're not done with the precipitation just yet. Cold front still sweeping through the area, and that's because we have 62 in Detroit, but 35 in Grand Rapids. So it's splitting the state here and it only gets colder behind this boundary. So here's a look at the storms that came through last night, the leftovers that are rolling through right now and then we'll settle things down. And yes, that's snow on the western end uh, fringes of the state near Lake Michigan. Temperature wise, 61 degrees in Pontiac, 60 in Flint. You're in the 50s from uh, Port Sanilac as well as Port Huron. You'll notice some rain right there near Lapeer, so we're not done with this just yet. And even 59 degrees in Monroe. Temperature trend over the next 36 hours. It shows the numbers are maybe in the 60s right now, but by lunchtime and beyond, we dip down into the 30s and the 20s. And once that colder air is here, it's here to stay at least until tomorrow evening. So we're looking at 62 for this morning start, 32 for the ride home at the bus stop. And you'll notice the note there. It's going to be windy. These winds are going to kick up anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per hour or greater. So there is a wind advisory in effect. That's because those winds are strong enough to cause some issues all their own. So that's something we'll have to watch for you. The colder air really will be felt for tonight as we go back down into the 20s. So it's feeling like winter again, thanks to those winds from the northwest at around 10 to 20 miles an hour. It's going to feel about 10 to 15 degrees colder than the numbers you see right here. The good news or the trade off is that winter is here for the rest of today and the first start of your Thursday. And after that, we get right back to it. Uh, we cross over into March feeling like late spring as opposed to early spring with temps in the upper 50s to low 60s and pushing highs near 70 by Monday.